So, a lot of fans have been asking me for pictures or videos of some of the things I've been telling them I'm making. Uh, so in response, um, this is my new chainsaw box for my dirt bike. So the trails I ride around here don't get ridden by too many people and when a tree falls on them, it's usually up to me to move that tree. I used to carry loppers and an axe strapped to the back of my bike. But uh, when you get like a, a two foot wide trunk tree across the trail, it could take you a whole afternoon just to, to move something like that with an ax. So I bought this electric chainsaw and I needed a way to carry it. And unfortunately, the first thing I did was I strapped a piece of wood to the back of the bike and then mounted on that a tool bag designed for chainsaws that had the blade sticking out the end. That worked for about a season and a half, but it was falling apart and twice the blade cover fell off of the blade and got lost in the woods. I had to go back looking for it. Uh, the, the chain was, was eating away at the strap. So I came up with this idea. I wanted something really solid and um, I think it's gonna work. We'll, we'll find out later today. Okay, and here's how it works. Got two heavy duty latches on each side. That holds the cover closed. I'm going to pop the cover, held in place by a piano hinge. A little bit of padding. Got yourself an electric chainsaw. So, this is great to have. Take the cover off, and you're ready to go. See a tree that's bothering you? Go back to safety. No more tree. And it's pretty quiet too, so you don't alert the property owners that you're out there working on their land. Now my old system, I lost this cover twice and had to go back looking for it because it stuck out of the bag that I used to keep strapped to the bike. So this is a lot better. Bit of a complicated design to the box, um, held in place by a bunch of straps. So, here's how it's held in place. We got two straps on each side holding the bike to the box, the box to the bike. And these connect to the passenger handles which are really securely mounted to the frame. Those are as solid as the frame. And then I added this in the back. This strap is really not necessary to keep the box in place. It's mostly here to give me an excuse to have a towel over my license plate so that if there's cameras in the woods they can't pick up who I am. And if I get caught I'll just say, oh I must have got that towel stuck there when I was securing my strap. So that's the idea behind that. The, uh, the blade is enclosed in this really solid part of the box. Nothing, nothing is really weak here. My original idea was going to be different. I was going to, uh, was going to have this front piece secured in place. That used to be connected to the base here. But um, when that's connected to the base, and this is the lid right here. There's not enough room for the chainsaw to fit in and still make it into there. So my original plan was to have the lid in place, all these pieces in place, and the only parts that would be hinged would be this back cover here, and the blade cover would have been hinged right along here. So this would have opened up this way, this would have opened up this way, and you'd pull the saw out from the back. But that seemed way too complicated. And I realized that this was solid enough. At first I didn't think you could make a lid like this that would be very solid. But I realized this, this wood is heavy and strong enough that it's not gonna be a problem. So, uh, so I ended up cutting, cutting the lid off of here and, um, and using the hinge here instead, which is a lot better design, but it left the wood not looking so great. So that's pretty much the deal. Uh, I could use a little bit of tightening. But, um, but anyway, 
It seems like it's gonna work. I'm gonna go out and take a ride in a minute, and I know there's at least one tree out in the woods that's blocking a trail I want to ride, so uh, I'll definitely be using it a little today. Um, so we'll see if we can get it packed back up. So, once again, here's how it's gonna work. Got one towel on the bottom. Padding. I was gonna install some pads, but I figured I'd rather have the flexibility of just using the towels. I'm gonna put one towel over the chainsaw. I made this a really tight fit. So this barely fits in with a towel wrapped around it. And that's on purpose so it doesn't bounce around while I'm riding. Would have liked to have maybe two towels worth of padding, but this is the way it came out. So, it goes right in there. And just in case, a little more padding. You can also rip this up and make it into tourniquets if I need to do it due to an on-trail injury. And uh, that should, should hold. Strap up the straps. Latches. And we should be ready to roll. And here is the axe handle that I made out of a piece of firewood that fell off of somebody's truck into my front yard. A uh, nice piece of oak. Might be white oak. I don't know how you tell white oak, but the wood is certainly white. So I carved it out of this log. And as I suspected, I may have to redo it because it's just a tiny bit loose. Uh, the wood was really green. And I think it's shrunk since the time I carved it, but um, but I know how to do it now, so I can do it again if I need to. I might still be able to get this to fit a little more tightly. Here is the firewood that fell off of somebody's truck that I used to build it. So I used my table saw to cut that corner piece out of there. And from that, I just kept cutting it down until I got what I needed. And um, some of the leftover scraps I actually used to, to trim parts of my, uh, my new chainsaw case for my bike, too. So the, the oak is a much nicer material to work with.